Well, today's kind of a special day. Oh my gosh, we're so excited. We are off to an event that we've been looking forward to for years. Yeah. We are going to the Lano River Chuck Wagon Cook-Off. It's a cook-off, but from what we understand, it's not just any cook-off. They are required to cook with chuck wagons, period correct, authentic style chuck wagons and tools that would have been available to a chuck wagon cook in the 1800s. Yeah, and they're, they're judged by how authentic they are, how authentic the food is. And we actually get to eat off one of the uh, chuck wagons. So we're, we're really excited about this. So. I think it's gonna be a ton of fun. Yeah. It's really why we came to Black Rock Park because yeah. we're about 30 minutes from the event so let's go. Yeah. Hey y'all, welcome back. I'm Stacy. I'm Tom and we're RV Texas y'all. We are native Texans and full-time RVers who are all about exploring the great state of Texas and beyond one campground at a time. We're on a mission to experience life, not just live it, and we're bringing you along for the fun. In 2018, we sold our house, our business, and got rid of most everything we owned to hit the road and see America. Our home is a 33-foot RV named Freedom. We installed an extreme solar and lithium setup, so now we can just about live anywhere with our dog Star and our cat Astro. Every day is a new adventure, so join us as we RV America, y'all. What are you cooking? Just red beans. Red beans. Got beans, potatoes, uh, all boiling. Got peaches boiling for copper. Oh yeah. And we'll, about 11 o'clock have some chicken fried steak boiling. Oh wow. We'll have to get that. A fish for any man. Yes, for sure.
Well, this is really, really neat. The food doesn't serve till noon, uh, but we got here about 10 o'clock and been able to walk around and see them all working and take a look at all the chuck wagons and talk to some of the cooks. They're busy though, because they have to turn in their food at noon for judging, but this is really super cool. There's events like this um, all over the state and beyond. Uh, so, you know, if you Google chuck wagon cook-offs, I bet you'll find a whole bunch of them. They say there's some in Weatherford and Abilene and Fort Worth and Stanford and it's, uh, yeah, this is something to see and it smells really good too. <laughs> So we've counted and there's 11 teams here and man, I don't know how they're going to tell which one <laughs> because they're all incredible. Uh, I mean, they look authentic to me. Looks like a lot of fun. I wish I had done this before we started RVing. This, this would have been really cool. That looks good. Let's hope it is. <laughs> I bet it is. This looks great, and I wish we had smell-o-vision because this whole park smells fantastic. <laughs> wow, that was incredible. Oh, fantastic. This is a must-attend event, in my opinion, the Lano Chuck Wagon Cook-Off. Just, I can't even say enough good things about the experience. And you can come and not have the food. It's free yeah. to come and not have the food if you just want to see the chuck wagons. But wow, I would try to get the food. You want to eat here. <laughs> yeah, but you have to get it in advance. You can't get it here day of. 
Right, so there are 11 chuck wagons that participated this year from all over. Uh, and each one sells... 40 tickets. Okay. So when you call and order, they, they're going to ask you which chuck wagon. And of course, if you don't know, that's all right. They'll kind of tell you which ones have some availability. And you just, you could get... You know, like we got two from the same one, and then after we did it, we thought maybe we should have each gotten a different one. Absolutely, but but they're all cooking the same thing. We had uh, the food from Cripple, Cripple Creek Chuck Wagon in Goliad, and yeah. it was great. Loved yes, it. it was. You can't go wrong here, I think, with any of them. But no. it was a fantastic day. We will put information on how to get tickets uh, for next year's event on our website so i'll link to that in the description and in the comment because yeah this is something you definitely want to do oh yeah a lot of fun <laughs> so until next time y'all make sure you're subscribed so you'll be along for more fun and adventures like the video and share it with your friends if you think this is something they'd be interested in yeah until next time safe travels and happy camping bye, bye.